Good morning, everyone. Uh, and thanks very much to the organizers of this conference, or Congress, who've invited me to come uh, and address you. And I would like to welcome you all and distinguished guests who are present here are from the IAF, as well as other organizations. It is indeed a great pleasure to me uh, to have been invited to address you uh, as uh, the future of space uh, in the continent and globally, uh, internationally. And what I would like to, to talk about today and I've been invited to talk about is about space science in South Africa and our region. But I believe that uh, it is important that we who are currently leading these entities, uh, space forums as well as organization today, continually engage with yourselves because you are the future of space. And indeed, in its nature, space science and technology is long term. The plans that are being hashed today and being crafted will have to be implemented by ourselves in the future. And therefore, it's very important that as we uh, progress in life, we continually engage you as young people so that you, en you enrich the plans that we are currently crafting as leaders of space organizations today. My talk will focus more on uh, space science and technology in our country, as well as the SADAC region, which is around ourselves here in South Africa. My agency is a new agency. It's a new space agency in the continent. Uh, it was established in April this year. And the, the primary objective of why uh, we were established and the mandate uh, that were given by our government is to coordinate space, science, and, uh, and technology in the country. South Africa has a hi rich history of space science in different areas. Uh, we started developing satellites uh, in the country in the 80s, uh, even though we didn't launch the one that we developed, the very first one that we, 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 we developed. And subsequent to that, we have uh, developed uh, locally two satellites, micro satellites, that were launched. And there were other uh, activities that we engaged in, particularly in astro astronomy, which dates, uh, uh, which has a, a, a rich history. Uh, probably people have spoken to you about SORT, uh, we're currently bidding for the SKA project as well. And so there, there is a rich history in terms of space science and technology in the country. However, these activities were not well coordinated. They were done in different uh, organizations. And the reason our organization was established was to try and to coordinate those better and leverage any synergies that uh, pertain to those. And as an agency, our focus uh, and particularly it's informed by the fact that we're a developing country. And the aim of uh, and mandate of our existence is governed by the need to use space science and technology to benefit the men in the street in a, mer in a very immediate man, um, in a way. And in that regard, uh, earth observation is very important for us. It's our flagship project that we drive in everything that we do. As you are well aware, our continent is a, a challenge in many ways. Uh, you would have seen that, 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 that graphic that shows the number of other countries that will fit into the African continent. Our population is largely rural, underdeveloped, uh, subsistence in its living in terms of farming, uh, depending on the very basic uh, facilities and amenities, water, which is usually populated, uh, li long distances of travel for schools, which are sometimes flooded, uh, other cha challenges in terms of uh, energy, firewood. So these are, the some, uh, these are some of the challenges that we face, very, very, very basic. In the developed world, you are faced with uh, sophisticated challenges. For us, it's simple things, very, very simple. And space has a role, a very, very crucial role uh, from where a school should be positioned so that when there's a flood, kids can still go to school. They're not you know, they're separated from their families because 
a flood happened during the day and they can't go home in the afternoon. Uh, firewood, uh, people are <coughs> cutting the trees, you know, of deforestation. Those basic things. And space has a crucial role, overgrazing, subsistence grazing, erosion. You know. and so that's our focus as an agency, to use space so that it benefits in a very, very simple way, the man in the street. And for that, we look to you, to assist us, to come up with applications that solve simple problems uh, and are very real. The challenge that we have as an agency in South Africa is uh, when you say you want to launch a satellite. Currently, we have a satellite which is not functioning, and we are being hammered for it. Why are we being hammered for it? Because people don't have houses. They live in shacks. Can you afford to build a satellite? They'll tell you no. And so we're consistently required to make a case for it, that we need the satellites. Why do we need them? For planning, uh, where housing should be. There's a rapid urbanization in our continent. People are moving from the rural areas to the cities. That requires planning in terms of amenities, access to those. And, and so we need bright minds. People will come up with innovative uh, plans, think out of the block, out of the box. How can we change life? How can we change humanity? How can we make this a better place to live in? So those are the challenges that we face as an agency. Uh, education is another one. Space lends itself naturally to be a sensor, uh, to be a, a something that can motivate people, inspire people, challenge people. You know, and so you can't ask for anything more than space to motivate people, to to have to 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 inspire young people. You know, once you have a satellite out there, they can you know just a repeat a chat to it, hear themselves talking, bounce from space, simple things that can really change. We have a campaign uh, to have the next Einstein coming from Africa. <laughs> okay, that's that's an ambition. Can you imagine what that will do for an African child? Or a continent is, uh, it's, uh, if you were to rate them, probably is at the bottom of the whole lot. You know, What can that do if we were to come up with someone from Africa who changed the world in a similar way that when you talk of Einstein, everyone knows who we're talking about. Those are the challenges that we have. And we believe that space science is that vehicle that we can use to inspire people, to challenge people in terms of training. Uh, you know, when you, you talk of space, uh, simple things on Earth, and space that are complicated issues, you know, eating, which we do without even thinking, sleeping, which we do without thinking. You go to space, you have to think about those things a bit more carefully, you know. And so it's an innovation tool and driver to say to people, to, to make us to stretch our thinking, our imagination, how can I do this? You know? So we use those things to inspire people. We are challenged in terms of uh, the, the uptake of science. It's very, very low. The attrition rate is high. And so we use space to motivate people. We also have inspiration, uh, aspirations to create new knowledge. Uh, we are rich in resources, but that's not the way it should go. If you are rich in resources and poor in knowledge, you won't make it globally. The economies that are successful are knowledge-based economies. You know, our resources, we are rich in minerals. They're mined out, they go somewhere else, they come back, we buy them. Here is a ring in my arm, in my finger. I bought it from somewhere else where it was processed. You know, and so, uh, we need to use space as that vehicle that we create new knowledge. Uh, through our science programs, uh, we, we want to uh, challenge our researchers to come up with new uh, knowledge, technologies in astronomy, in space science in general. And so, we, and for us to succeed in all those things, we rely on you uh, uh, to come up with those uh, bright ideas. The, we, we look at the youth more in terms of your generation 
uh, the challenge when you look at our government, I talked earlier on about using innovation to solve certain pro simple problems. Largely, this government is supposed to do that. Our municipalities, our provincial uh, authorities are supposed to, you know, plan properly. But that challenge in terms of uh, having the adequate skills to use the data. We swim in data, but you can't use it. It has to be converted to information, you know. And young people, you know, have to come up. You are not technophobic. You know, government officials, some of them are. You know, give them a cell phone, they, it's a serious issue, you know. But then you are not. You are aware of these things, you use them. It's about content, you know, and information. How do you distribute it? And you do that, you know. How can you get information to a farmer out there? Uh, that uh, look, there's a flood, or there's this, you know, in a simple way. And so, you are our future, uh, and we rely on you to come up with those ideas that will change and transform our society going forward. Thank you.